Hey guys, what's up? It's Yano. Welcome to day 20 of Camp Town Rambo, July 2023. It's around half past nine in the evening. I'm just back from choir practice, which actually went really well. I'm happy with that. I was almost like not wanting to go because I'm so tired. I spent most of today sleeping just because I got in at like half past three in the morning because the flight was delayed, but even if it hadn't been delayed, um, I would have gotten home quite late at night. And also it's just changing um, countries. There's like, it's a small time difference. It's only a couple of hours, but I feel like it does still get you a little bit jet lagged. And on top of that, just the difference in temperatures. But the difference in temperatures has actually been wonderful because it's so much cooler here. I literally jumped from like over 30 degrees to something like 15, 17 degrees here in Edinburgh. And it was actually so nice to like just sleep because it wasn't too hot to sleep. So I slept through most of the day, which was wonderful. Um, I did do a good chunk of editing, which actually surprised myself because I, when I found, finally like woke up, I felt like I wouldn't be able to do anything at all. But I did manage to do that. And I've also been thinking about how much the place where you are and like the season and the environment can affect your writing because while I was in Bulgaria I was really struggling with my fantasy romance because that one has like really autumnal kind of Halloween witchy like vibes and in the middle of like super hot summer I just kind of wasn't feeling it that much whereas the middle grade was a bit easier because that one is set in summer although it's set into summer going into autumn so that one I always kind of like August is the best time to be writing that but still a little bit easier um, and also just just having the cooler air, it's easier to work. Um, and everything you see around you as well. Edinburgh is much more of like a, you know, it's it's an old looking city. It has all the old buildings and like there's the castle that you can see from Princess Street. So that creates a certain vibe. Whereas Varna, my town where I'm from, uh, is like really great for like a summer, like, beach, bar, like warm, you know, sort of parties and having fun and that sort of thing. It's not so like gothic or like fantasy or fairy tale-ish, although it depends on where you go, of course, it can be. Um, so now that I'm back here, I feel like some of my projects will be going a lot better, both because of the colder temperatures um, and because of the environment around me. So um, I haven't managed to work on, I've only worked on the editing today and tiny bit on the fanfic um, and I haven't really looked at any of the other projects, I haven't written anything in the other projects, I've been thinking about the fantasy romance which is why I'm mentioning all this because I've been kind of getting the right kind of vibes. So I will probably sit down and work on that a little bit now and I am off tomorrow, I don't have anything to do tomorrow apart from the translating and the editing and the <laughs> all of that sort of thing but I don't have any lessons, I don't have any other engagements so that's gonna be really nice, I just, I, I need the break from my break that wasn't really a break if that makes sense, I am happy to be back, I will need a proper holiday later in September but for now I'm happy to be back and maybe I'll actually be able to rest better here than back home which is really ironic but sometimes that's what happens i can't remember if there was anything else i wanted to say i'm really really tired i actually feel like going to bed now again but i want i want i will do some work first and um i will see you tomorrow in another video thanks for watching bye